hi everyone today we are performing an experiment that is gm tube that is nothing but an a dead time of a gm counter first of all what we have to do is we have to determine the dead time of the gm counter by the double source method that is i will show you a to determine the dead time of the gm tube by the double source method and here i have here we are using the formula that is t is equal to m1 plus m2 minus m12 divided by 2 m1 into m2 that is in the seconds where m1 is the number of counts per second for the source 1 and m2 is the number of counts for the source 2 and m12 is the number of counts for the source 1 and 2 that is from the radioactive source kit i am taking let us consider this thallium this thallium for the source 1 for the counting m1 and First is M one thirty seven. This is for M two. And when I place the M one, it shows only for the counts for the M one. And when I place second second radioactive source, it shows for the M two. And when I combine these two in the tube radioactive detection tube, it shows M one two. That is how. Before that observation, the operating voltage of the GM tube. We know that it is of five hundred and twenty volts. And background counts. Before starting the experiment, we have to start the background count before or after we can do it our time. Now I will place these two radioactive materials, the kit, and by turning on the GM counting system, it shows go to program and it is for 300. It is for the 300 second. Now what we need to do is we have to set it for the 60 seconds. That is 60 seconds. 4, 5, 6, 60 seconds and make it as a 0. Then now it is for set 60 seconds and now go for the parallax time and it should be an off. Parallax time is off. Then we can start our experiment now what we need to do is just take out the tray and place an any source now i am placing a thallium thallium here and here i have to use the double source plant but currently i don't have double source plant so i am using this one only and place it at a certain distance that is at slot number four and we should not do any disturbance while placing it and set the high voltage to now I am setting the high voltage to 520 volts we have to set it slowly actually that that uh, the dead time means it's an inefficiency or it's an uncertainty to measure the particles at some time where the, our GM counter is insensitive to detect the particles. That time is called as dead time of a GM counter. Now we are very near 520 volt and starts counting. Keep it for 60 seconds and later we will see how much count it will detect. Now it shows that after 60 seconds it detected only 340 particles. Write it as a 340 in the tableau column for source 1 that is 340. It is 340 particles. And now what we need to do is repeat this experiment. Repeat the same counting up to the 4 times for the trial number 1, trial number 2, trial number 3. Now what I will do is after repeating this one again press start and take down readings for the source for the source one second reading third reading and fourth reading now what we need to do is now what we need to do is just replace the source that is by removing this one and again keep it in the radioactive kit kit now take the source two and place it in the other side place it in the other side and again samely 
at the same slot we have to place it without disturbing it then what you need to do is now press start and it will show sir particle detection for the source 2 now wait for 60 seconds and take the readings of the source 2 readings after completing 60 seconds it shows 472 particles are detected that is what we need to do is for source 2 it is for source 2 it is 472 readings and then what we need to do is and same repeatedly same do this experiment up to four steps then again press start again start counting then take it as a reading for trial number two and again press start and take the reading first leave it for 60 seconds and take it for the reading number three and so on and next what we need to do is by placing the double source method that is how i will show you you should not disturb the already placed substance and place it now take the sample and place it here should not disturb it and place it in an exactly where they are kept at the time then what we need to do is now press start it will start counting then keep it for 60 seconds and later we will see it now by placing source 1 and 2 it shows for the 520 volts and it is 730 counts now right 730 for it and then repeat it for and then press again press start then take the readings up to four trials and now what we need to do is now by pressing the stop now take for the background counts then place these two radioactive substances in the radioactive kit and then place it back at the fourth slot and now press start counting then take the readings of the background counts and keep it away from the radioactive substance kit wait for the 60 seconds now after keeping for 60 seconds it shows 12 12 counts that is for corrected 12 12 is the background counts value and now it is c minus b c is equal to 340 minus b is equal to 12 and it comes around 328 and for 472 minus 12 it comes around 460 and 730 minus 12 it comes around 708 now what we need to do is that is t is equal to m1 is 328 plus 460 minus 708 divided by 2 into bracket 328 into 460 then this time is known as the dead time of result is the dead time of gm counter or tube is dash seconds is in dash seconds and <coughs> before starting the experiment what we need to do is first radioactive substance the one the radioactive material the one here this is a thallium sorry this is a cesium source it they matter you could have one place a lay exact a place matter and without disturbing it now you have the car no disturb bar the high source one now fourth slot a little count rate now start matter by pressing the start time by pressing the start month in a year matter tv 60 seconds the yellow no cross at matter tv so that you are now a matter of pandre count is start up next time at the way this is for the source one next to source one are the good matte now replace matter the other day 
ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಕಿಟ್ಟಲ್ಲಿ ರೀಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ದೆನ್ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಟೂನ ತಗೊತೀವಿ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಟೂನ ತಗೊಂಡು ಮತ್ತೆ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಟೂನ ತಗೊಂಡು ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಮತ್ತು ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಟೂದು ಕೌಂಟ್ ರೇಟ್ ಅವು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಗೋಕ್ಕೆ ನೋಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅವಾಗ ಎಷ್ಟು ಕೌಂಟ್ ರೇಟ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಮತ್ತೆ ಬರಿತೀವಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಮತ್ತು ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಟೂ ಎರಡೂ ಇಡ್ತೀವಿ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಟೂನ ಎರಡೂ ಇಡ್ತೀವಿ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟರ್ಬಿಂಗ್ ದಮ್ ಎರಡೂ ಇಟ್ಟಾದಮೇಲೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ನಾಲ್ಕು ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ನ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಟೂ ಇಟ್ಟಾಗ ಎಷ್ಟು ಬಂತು ನನಗೆ ಅದನ್ನ ನೋಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಮಾಡ್ಕೊತೇವೆ ದೆನ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಫಾರ್